Hey, I'm Terry Savelle Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. I want to talk to you today about how to stay focused on your dreams. Or I could title it this way, how to not give up on what you've asked God for, especially when you've experienced delay after delay, obstacle after frustrating obstacle, and it looks like it's never going to happen. But that's a really long title, and I obviously speak from experience. Now, I remember hearing a story about a tribe of Aborigines in Australia who would perform a special rain dance. Now, this tribe, however, had something that set them apart from other tribes. It always rained when this group performed. Well, you can't argue with results, right? So because of their phenomenal track record, they were able to charge the most money for their services. Well, one season in particular, when farmers were experiencing this horrible drought, one of them suggested that each farmer put their money together and hire these extraordinary rain dancers. They were desperate for rain, so they agreed. Well, sure enough, the tribe came, they danced, and suddenly the drought came to an end, the clouds darkened, and the downpour came. Well, they were confused and just curious, how did this happen? So how do they do this every time? In fact, one of the farmers asked, what is it about your tribe that makes it rain every time? Like, what are you doing differently than other tribes? The rain dancer simply said, we just dance until it rains. <laughs> and there you have it. They dance until it rains. The others always quit before the rain. They could have gotten the same results, had the same reputation, demanded the same higher fees, but they quit before they see success. So, how long do you persist towards your dreams, your prayers, your faith projects until it happens? How long do you believe God for this healing, this breakthrough, this promotion, your house, your spouse, <laughs> until it happens? You know, Galatians 6, 9, this is what it says. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we do not give up. In other words, the moment you're ready to quit is usually the moment right before the miracle happens. Don't give up. You know, I remember hearing a true story about a young man who was raised in Memphis, Tennessee. He finished high school and joined the Air Force to become a fighter pilot. Well, after four years in the military, he decided to pursue his dream of acting and he just moved to Los Angeles. But it didn't work out. He then moved to New York City to make it as an actor, but again, he hit really hard times. Nothing was working out. In fact, he was so broke, he was living on the streets eating stale donuts. This is a true story. Well, years went by with no success, working odd jobs to just pay the rent. At 45 years old, he's still struggling financially, but never gave up on his dream of acting. Well, at the age of 50 years old, he finally began to get some quality roles in popular movies. Well, today, he's not only an Academy Award-winning actor, but his voice is even more iconic than his face. Morgan Freeman, the man who fought for his dream, is considered one of the most influential actors in Hollywood. What am I saying? Fight for your dream until it happens. You know, God has called you to be victorious. But you gotta fight for the dream. You have to stay focused no matter how hard it looks right now. Don't give up on what you've asked God for. That thing that you want so badly, don't give up on it, it's coming. You know, let me repeat Galatians 6, 9. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we do not give up. Think about that. You know, I want to share three powerful action steps with you today to help you with this because it's helped me so much to stay focused and to just not give up during that waiting season until it happens. But first, I want to tell you one more story real quick of someone who could have given up. In fact, most people in his situation would have given up. But personally, I am so grateful he fought for the dream. I can't help but think of the grit that this guy Milton had in pursuing his dream against all odds. So listen to this story. Milton dropped out of school in the fourth grade. Well, later in life, well, first of all, comprehend that. He dropped out of school in the fourth grade. 
Well, he eventually took an apprenticeship with a printing company only to be fired. Well, that let down led to him becoming another apprentice to a candy maker in Pennsylvania, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Well, after studying the business for four years, he just developed this big vision to start his own candy company. So he went for it. He launched his first candy company in Philadelphia. Unfortunately, it failed miserably. <clears throat> well, he picked himself up, went full force after his dream in Chicago. He started a candy company in Illinois, and again, it was a devastating failure. Well, once again, picked himself up. He didn't let the severe setback stop him from achieving his dream. He started another candy company in New York, only to watch it go down in flames again. It failed miserably. Milton finally gave up on his dreams, and we will never know who he could have become. No! <laughs> because he refused to give up against the odds and he just developed extreme perseverance, his very name is synonymous with chocolate. Milton Hershey moved back to Lancaster and he opened the Lancaster Caramel Company. Now, what happened was his unique caramel recipe was a huge success, but Milton thought chocolate has a much greater future than caramel. So he sold the Lancaster Caramel Company for $1 million back in 1900. They say that's the equivalent to like 25 million today. Then he started a chocolate company called the Hershey Company. Milton Hershey stayed focused on his dream. Can we all say thank you, Jesus? <laughs> we get to enjoy the sweetness of his persistence, right? Well, Babe Ruth said, you just can't beat the person who won't give up. So if God put a dream in your heart, something you're believing for that looks hopeless, your job is to use the tools that God has given us to fight against the odds, stay focused, on your vision and win. In fact, 2 Corinthians, Chronicles, I think I mixed Corinthians and Chronicles. 2 Chronicles 15, 7, it says, but as for you, be strong and do not give up for your work will be rewarded. I love that. So I wanna give you three keys from God's word that I use to help you stay focused. The first key, number one, is get clear on your dream. James Clear, his last name's actually Clear, he said many people think they lack motivation, but what they lack is clarity. Clarity is one of the single most important keys to success. That means you decide exactly what you want. What do you really want? You know, don't just say increase, breakthrough, I want growth, I want a new beginning. What does that even mean? Have you defined it? See, those descriptions are so vague, and we know that vague goals produce vague results. So let me ask you, do you wanna be debt free? How much, like how much debt do you owe? Is it clearly written? Like what is that number? See, you need to be crystal clear on what debt freedom means to you. 43,257 and eight cents. That's a clear goal, right? Do you wanna lose weight? How much and by when? Get clear on what you want to weigh and what you want to look like. Get an image of it and put it in your dream book. You know, do you want a different house maybe? Um, what kind of house? Do you want a one-story, a two-story, brick, stucco? Is it near the water, near the mountains? Get clear on it and get a picture of the dream house. Do you want to go on a mission trip? Where? With which ministry? When do you want to go? Do you want to save money? How much? Is it $1,000, $10,000, $100,000? Put that amount in your dream book and stay focused on it. You know, when I started learning that clarity is a massive key to success in achieving your dreams, I started doing what successful people do. Once you're clear on what you want, you have to write it down. I was looking for my giant pencil. <laughs> But see, God's word says, write the vision and make it plain. It doesn't say, write the vision and make it vague. No, clearly writing what you're believing God for. So I got my dream book and I wrote clearly that I want my swimming pool paid off. And I wrote the amount. Then I wrote out little increments of $1,000. So each time I was able to put an extra $1,000 towards it, I would joyfully mark through it. Every time we jumped in, I'd say, we swim in a debt-free swimming pool. And my family would laugh. 
But see, having that vision clearly written and before my eyes, it compelled me to start looking for opportunities to achieve it. Here's the swimming pool paid in full. And I do this with every dream in my heart, the safe houses we want to impact. I don't just say we're gonna impact young women. No, we write down how many outreaches we wanna have, how many resources we wanna give away. We write down how many houses we wanna be able to finance and fund. Well, here we are this year, impacting young women, bringing them to our ministry headquarters, which I'm so grateful for. In fact, partners, I have to show you this real quick. We said this year as part of our outreaches, since we now have our own building, that we're gonna bring these safe houses here, have a vision board workshop, here we are with these precious girls at our ministry on the lake here, investing in them, teaching them how much God loves them, showing them how to get a vision for their lives, and of course, having some cake. But first of all, I wanna say thank you partners for making this possible and for caring about these precious lives. And second, this would have never happened had we not gotten clear on the vision to impact young women rescued from human trafficking. I'm telling you, you're gonna be amazed what you can accomplish in life when you get clear on your dreams and goals and then write it down. It helps you stay focused until it happens. Now, when we come back, I wanna share two more keys with you. One of them might be very surprising, but I'm telling you, it's a prerequisite for success. I'll be right back. Are you ready to embark on a journey that will lead you to fulfill your purpose? Picture this, a divine plan intricately designed for you and you alone. And to help you step into your destiny, Terry is offering her inspiring Live Your Dreams 90-Day Devotional along with the one-of-a-kind My Personal Dreams and Goals Notebook. This transformative package is your key to renewing your mind, prioritizing your goals, and embracing each day as an opportunity to live out your calling. Don't let this opportunity pass. Seize it today by calling toll-free 1-800-795-5597 or visiting us online at terry.com. Act now and embrace the daily dose of inspiration, encouragement, and motivation that awaits you. Your fulfilling future is just a call or click away. Don't delay. Take the first step towards an extraordinary life. Call or visit us online to request your copy of the Live Your Dreams 90-Day Devotional with My Personal Dreams and Goals Notebook. Unleash your potential, step into your purpose, and live your dreams. I'm so excited about our special package we put together this week. It's my 90-day Live Your Dreams daily devotional. Now, this book sells out everywhere we take it, but it's just a simple daily boost of encouragement to keep you focused on what you're praying for. And it's filled with inspiring stories of people who could have given up, most would have given up, but they didn't. And it's gonna inspire you to never give up on your prayers, your dreams, your goals. And then I added my personal dreams and goals notebook, just like the one, the very one that I use. And this right here will be your tool to get you focused, get organized, get determined to check them off. You know, people come up to me all over the world with their notebooks full of dreams achieved. You know, God is the one who said, write the vision, make it plain. He didn't say, wish for your dreams and leave them in your head. No, he said to write them down. Your chance of success increases by 42% just by putting pen to paper. Isn't that amazing? So get your daily boost of faith and your personal dreams and goals journal this week. Now, instead of $40 for both, we reduced it to $30. So I hope that's a blessing. Just call the number on the screen or go online to terry.com and we'll ship it out today. Trust me, you're gonna have so much fun with this. Okay, the second key to keep you focused on your dream, your prayer, what you're asking God for, is probably not what you think. Number two is prepare for your dream. You know, when I was a little girl, my dad pastored a church in Fort Worth, Texas, and there was a family who went to our church who had this dream of owning a brand new Cadillac. Let's just imagine. But this family was clear on their vision and they continually told my dad, we are declaring we have a brand new Cadillac, debt free in Jesus name. Well, one day my dad said, let me see the car you're currently driving. So they walked him out to the parking lot and with one glance, anyone could see why they were not driving the brand new car debt free, no matter how clear the vision was or how consistent their declarations were. Why? Their current car was absolutely filthy. I mean, it looked like something from a junkyard. And my dad was honest with them. He said, listen, 
God is not going to bless you with a better car when you don't take care of the car you currently have. He said, prepare for the Cadillac. Show God that you can be trusted with a nicer vehicle. He went on to say, if you don't take care of this car, he said, give it a few months. Your Cadillac will look just like this. Well, I hate to say I never saw them get that new Cadillac, but I also never saw them clean up the car. They weren't preparing for the dream car. What am I saying? Well, what my dad was trying to teach them is God won't bless us with more when we're not faithful with the little. See, if you're believing God for a new car, a new job, a new house, a new ministry, a new career, one of the greatest strategies for success is to act as if you already have what you want to have. Prepare for your dream. You know, Benjamin Franklin said, by failing to prepare, you're preparing to fail. Luke 16.10 says the one who's faithful in very little is also faithful in much. So if you're believing for a new car, clean out the garage, make room for it. If you're looking for a new job, start typing your resume, start looking online. If you're believing to go overseas or to travel somewhere just for fun, get your passport, buy some luggage. Maybe you're believing to get married. Start researching your ideal wedding venue or a wedding dress. Start preparing as if you really believe God is going to bring it. And see, when God sees you doing your part, taking care of what you got, getting ready for what you're praying about, He's going to open doors that no man can shut. You know, I think about David in the Bible. He practiced using his slingshot over and over again alone in that field. He became so skilled, so precise. He even killed a lion and a bear with his bare hands in private with nobody watching. He became a sharpshooter. When a coyote tried to attack his sheep, he nailed it. Then when God was looking for somebody to slay a giant, he looked for someone who had been preparing, who was ready, who had practiced. David, right? You know, Joel Osteen said, when God is looking for people to promote today, he doesn't just close his eyes and just randomly choose someone. No, he looks for someone who's developed their skills, someone who's taking action. I want to challenge you. If you really believe in what you're asking God for, start taking action. You know, get the house ready to sell. Research the vacation spot. Practice the song. Get the sermon ready. Type your resume. Get pictures of your dreams and your goals. Show God you're serious. And when God is looking for somebody to bless, get ready. You're going to be ready. Okay, the third key I want to share real quick is to build your faith for your dream every day. In fact, I want to tell you this true story. Now, this is taken from, I think it was day 67 in the Live Your Dream, um, yeah, the Live Your Dreams devotional. And I called it the Mindset for Success. It's a story by Jack Canfield about the Australian sailing team who had never won the America's Cup. Now, back in 1983, the Australian coach had this new idea. He wanted to just try the visualization techniques and, you know, just positive input with his team. So what he did was he made a cassette tape depicting the Australian team beating the American team. This is so cool. This tape was professionally put together with sound effects of the wind and the sail and waves crashing. And what it had was teammates on there. And they were saying things like, we're going around the last buoy. We're gaining ground. We're sailing right past the Americans. And the Australians have won the America's Cup. <laughs> it was not with my kind of voice, but it had the shouts and the cheers from the team and the roaring crowd just congratulating them. This tape went on for 20 minutes. Now, here's the thing. The coach required the team to listen to the tape twice a day for three years. Twice a day for three years. Would that affect your mindset? Well, when race day finally approached and they were up against the Americans, their attitude was not them again. I mean, how many times do we have to beat these guys? <laughs> for the first time ever, they won the America's Cup. Why? Their whole mindset was different. They had the mindset for success. Well, let me ask you, what are you listening to the most? Is it how impossible your prayers look? How inevitable it is that your dream won't happen? 
Are you listening to the doubts and the negative voices of those around you? See, God wants to do big things in your life, but he can't if you consistently have a negative mindset. John Maxwell says, the secret of your future is hidden in your daily routine. Well, the routine I wanna suggest is build your faith with positive input every single day. That means making it a part of your life to just read his word, read devotionals and books that build your faith, journal what you hear in your quiet time. You know, that's why in my Live Your Dreams devotional, I left a space for you to write what you feel God is speaking to you in each lesson. And I'm telling you, just this little routine right here of filling up every day with faith building, positive input, it's gonna absolutely give you the faith you need to not give up. No matter how long it's taking, you're just gonna have this quiet confidence that things are gonna work out. For example, imagine going to the movie theater to see like an action film or a drama and you get there 10 minutes before the earlier showing has ended. But instead of waiting in the lobby, you go inside the theater and you watch the last 10 minutes of the movie. You see how the entire plot unfolds and how everything turns out. Well, when the next showing starts, you go back in and you sit through the entire movie. But instead of being like on the edge of your seat and you're nervous and anxious and concerned, no, you're just watching the details of the clothing, the camera angles, the background. You're trying to figure out what other movie have I seen this actor in? You're not nervous at all. You're calm, you're relaxed. You're really just taking time to enjoy the acting. Why? Because you already know how it all ends. Well, see, that's exactly how you become when you consistently build your faith in God's word to you. If you really trust that God is in control, that Romans 8, 28 is true, he works all things together for your good then you rest in faith. It's gonna be okay. Things are gonna work out in your favor. So I want to help you this week to get that mindset for success. I want you to get the Live Your Dreams Daily Devotional, 90 days that will do nothing but build your faith. I actually time myself and it only takes one to two minutes to read the entire daily devotional. Just think, in only two minutes, you can get the mindset for success. You can get your mind focused in the right direction to defeat fear, doubt, the devil telling you that you're never gonna get out of debt, you're never gonna get healed, you're never gonna get married or remarried. No, you're gonna rise up with faith and confidence knowing God is working behind the scenes in your life. You may have heard that phrase, what you tune into, you turn into. So tune into devotionals that build your faith to live your dreams. So we reduced the price instead of $40 for both. This week, you can get the special package for only $30. So just call the number on the screen or go to terry.com and we'll ship it to you today. And I'm telling you, you're going to have so much fun getting clear on your personal dreams and goals. And get a package for someone you love, someone who's in that season of struggling to figure out what God's plan is for their lives. You know, we have so many people getting these tools and then coming up to me and showing me what God has done in their lives. And it just thrills me because God is no respecter of persons. He just wants us to do what he said to do. Write the vision, make it plain, right? So again, just call the number on the screen or go online to terry.com and we'll ship it right to you. And I wanna say thank you to our partners for making this possible. We couldn't do it without you and we are so grateful for you. And if you're not a partner yet, I would love for you to join our team, the Dream Squad, who are truly making an impact in so many lives around the world. You know, you helped me reach these young girls, one of them who was rescued out of human trafficking, came to our workshop here, and she could hardly wait to show me that she got her teeth fixed from being knocked out, she got her GED, she got a job, she loves God with all of her heart, and I want you to know you are making that possible. And we're believing God for more partners up here. So will you be one of my partners helping us make a greater impact? If so, please call the number on the screen or go online to terry.com slash partner. And I want you to know, we as a ministry, we welcome you with loving arms and with a grateful heart. We have a gratitude wall here, and every week we're writing how grateful we are for you, our partners. So I want to say thank you from my heart, and you will 
always be covered in prayer. So thank you so much for watching today. And remember, me and my team here, a team of partners, we are cheering you on to stay focused on your dreams and to live your dreams. Do everything God put in your heart to do. Are you ready to embark on a journey that will lead you to fulfill your purpose? Picture this, a divine plan, intricately designed for you and you alone. And to help you step into your destiny, Terry is offering her inspiring Live Your Dreams 90-Day Devotional along with the one-of-a-kind My Personal Dreams and Goals Notebook. This transformative package is your key to renewing your mind, prioritizing your goals, and embracing each day as an opportunity to live out your calling. Don't let this opportunity pass. Seize it today by calling toll-free 1-800-795-5597 or visiting us online at terry.com. Act now and embrace the daily dose of inspiration, encouragement, and motivation that awaits you. Your fulfilling future is just a call or click away. Don't delay. Take the first step towards an extraordinary life. Call or visit us online to request your copy of the Live Your Dreams 90-Day Devotional with My Personal Dreams and Goals Notebook. Unleash your potential, step into your purpose, and live your dreams. I want to ask you to help me with something very important. At our ministry, we are committed to many outreaches, but something that is so close to my heart is the work we do rescuing women out of human trafficking. You may not know my story, but after I was violated as a young girl and dealt with horrible insecurities and deep shame, I made it my mission to help young women. So each year we provide funds for local safe houses to give shelter and resources to young women. Not only that, but we've actually gone into clubs in some of the roughest parts of America where exotic dancers are actually being trafficked. And I'm telling you, going into these dark places, it pushes me out of my comfort zone. But when I look these precious girls in the eyes and tell them face to face how valuable they are to God, it impacts their life and mine. Well, all of this is possible because of our amazing monthly partners. Would you become a monthly partner with our ministry and help me fight against this demonic attack on young girls? Visit terry.com partner or call the number on the screen today.